What's up, everybody? C Jack here, bringing you a mid season finale of the C Jack Reviews, episode five. We're going to talk about Invincible season two review with my, my co host, the Arch Assessment, and hey. Omega Quiz. What's up, gentlemen? Hey. Hello, hello. Let's get doing, it. Doing good, doing good. All right. So, uh, by the way, I want to give a shout out to one of my Patreons, uh, Paul Bethony. If I'm butchering your name, I apologize. Uh, thank you for not only putting more subscribers on the channel lately, because I noticed a lot of them you know, uh, but also the donation, generous donation you made to the channel. Didn't even ask you to do it, but you did it anyway. Appreciate it. It'll go straight to the studio once it's there. Speaking of which, waiting for paint to dry. <laughs> Literally waiting for that. So uh, we're in the confines of my living room. So share, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'll probably actually be in there when the next season starts, which will be after the break, which never happens. <laughs> Arch assessment knows. I try so hard to give myself a break, but whatever. So switching gears. All right. So our story begins season two of Invincible. The aftermath comes into play, painting the picture. Mark is trying to find his way into his life. Uh, after, of course, his dad pretty much beat the living Jesus out of him. And um, I love the connection he already has straight in the gate that Cecil understands Mark is not Nolan. But in the back of Cecil's paranoid mind, he's still like, okay, what's the old Reaganomics uh, arch? Uh, trust but verify? Yeah. Or he's yeah. at with him. So what, what did episode stick out to you guys? Uh, like what moments stuck out in this episode? Yeah. I mean... We open up in the beginning, like Mark's still trying to cope with the trauma of like the reveal of Ani Man, Nolan's true intentions. He's still trying to wrap his head and process it. He's trying to keep himself busy and distracted. And he just wants to tell himself he's not his father. He's not his father. Um, we This is where we get the introduction of Angstrom Levy, voiced by Sterling K. Brown. Who was uh, recently nominated for uh, Best Supporting Actor in American Fiction? Not to get uh, off track, but uh, we resume, meet. But, yeah, we meet Angstrom Levy. Um, Levy, excuse me. And his thing is, he can travel between different universes, if I'm not mistaken. Somehow, he runs into the Mahler twins. That was interesting. Um, we know that Immortal is very suspicious of an Invincible, which is understandably so. Of course. Given who his father's as. I can't be mad at him for feeling the way he does. That wasn't shown until the very end. But uh, what stood out was, to me at least, was toward the very end when Invincible gets into it with the Maul Twins and all their variants. And of course, yeah. he gets his butt handed to him as usual. You know, and the rest of the Guardians of the Globe have to come in and save the day. And uh, Cecil tries to keep Mark on a tight leash by telling him what to do. And uh, there was a moment there I thought was funny. I was like, I can't believe him. But Rex said something that was a bar to Mar uh, Invincible. I can't remember what it was. But then Cecil chimed in like, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I agree with Rex. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, because Rex, Rex explosion is there's a meme going around here it is right he's a douchebag but he's got his moments but yeah he's like a dude, he is he has no charisma gambit does uh exploding objects with kinetic energy so does gambit etc cetera, etc cetera. and at the very end has an incalculable charisma like arch said and then on this end it says phenomenal douchebag and it's true rex is a boy. but yeah we, we love him for some reason i don't know what it is I, I, I have an answer for you. Uh, Quez, wait, technically that's not his government name. Do you remember uh, Don, uh, uh, Daffy? Yes. Nobody, nobody <laughs> likes him, but we kept him around anyway. Nobody Daffy, likes him. to this day, is still on my Xbox. Like, we still like chat in some video games, man. <laughs> so, right, so to give you guys a uh, synopsis, especially uh, Arch. So we had this dude, we used to play game nights, right? Back, back in our mid-20s, mm -hmm. sidebar. <laughs> and it's like how the streets say, yo, whose man is this? Who invited right. this dude? If whose man is this was a person. He's like the Stifler, the Steve Stifler of your clique. Basically. Definitely. Everybody Definitely. else was like Jim or Kevin or Oz or he was Finch. Never 
Stifler. This guy was like the stifler of the of the crew. He was basically that's what Rexplosion is in a nutshell. Not to get off track. Yeah, like like Vegeta. Why are you here? You know. Right. So yeah, but he's, you know, he's, needed, a, he's though, annoying right? and obnoxious. But yeah, you rock with him for some reason. It's the way to stay. Go ahead, Quest. You gonna say something? Yeah, Quest. Quest. Yeah, I was um gonna go back to what we were talking about in general about it, but uh my. My whole thing about the first episode for me was seeing the different variants of Invincible that actually did agree with his dad. So that's what you were practicing on those protesters last week. I couldn't figure it out. And they were taking over all the planets and everything. Yeah. And all well, that. I thought you. that right. was like so cool because to see Invincible so cutthroat and was like, yo, man, we were supposed to go eat. We were supposed to go have shakes and all this now just let's just kill these people and keep it moving i'm like man i'm no, like he he really that cut throat, man, it would have been yes. so bad if you would have just said, i heard you evil invincible is scary man is. You know, i'm glad you you know what very good q we, we both missed that arch good point uh excellent point so there's it's like the multiverse of madness you know there's yeah. a there was a supreme invincible with the the doctor strange cloak then there's the base invincible, you know, and I understand now um, the guy with the big head, James. You just named what was his name again? The villain. Angstrom Levy. Huh? Angstrom Levy. Angstrom Levy. Yeah, it's true, Q. Oh, I yeah. understand now. I'm like, dude, this is Mark. You know, he's a great guy. What is what? What great wrong was done to you to make you this angry? And Quest brought up an excellent. Wait, wait. I'm defending you. Quest brought up an excellent point, dude. I went through. No, I'm talking to um, Langstrom. I went through multiple. <laughs> dimensions of this man obliterating my species and yeah mark was like this like and um wait omni man was like oh so uh in some universes him and omni man never fought so nope. he's like mark well, i was wondering what was taking you so long oh she's dead and then they're just nonchalant nah i'm just working on this paralyzing technique i should have leaned it a little more to the left you see that she still has a twitch there it's not complete they're talking about this like they're working on a car well <laughs> yeah you know, evil, and then, I'm telling you, man, the yeah. evil variants of Invincible are mad scary, man. And the, yeah. and, and the Finn Arch's point... Invincible is a problem. Yeah, <laughs> and, and the Finn Arch's point, there was one in a, in a com, he was like, hey, and, and his calm demeanor does not help. He's like, hey. It makes it even worse. Yeah, he was like, hey, um, how you doing? This is Invincible here. Is this thing on? Uh, listen, so um, remember, the more you guys fight, the harder this makes it on you. So um, if you guys can just lay down and just accept it, That'd be great. You know, that kind of stuff. So that, that was basically all of it. <laughs> Both of y'all shaking your heads. That was basically all episode one. I'm going to kick us off with episode two now. Darkwing Jr. Oh. I forgot this, all about this part. Uh -huh. yeah. I took some good notes, dude. This cartoon character. Oh, jeez. Okay, Ooh. so he develops this cool interdimensional dark gateway that helps him teleport which is cool gave him an edge because the original darkwing was basically our dc version the batman let's call it what it is folks come on dude. It's just... right 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 all right sure. so I even mean, though they get into that we'll talk about that one later okay all right <laughs> oh, yeah you know you both know i'm going i to know i knew you were going to say something you know about I'm that triggered. <laughs> so <laughs> it's only fun until your shot is anyway so darkwing jr right so uh cecil and mark are working pretty good like you know arch said you know they're trying to Hey, I have something to prove. I'm not my father. And Cecil's like, well, I want to keep you on a short leash. You can use your powers. It was a mutual uh, balance. So they come across Darkwing Jr., right? Mind you, the Earth hasn't fully recovered from what just happened. It, there was a, and I did my homework. There's an estimated 2 billion people died from their fight alone. Just FYI from the last season. 2 billion. So anyway, he's like, hey, you know what? Is that code for 100 million, CJ? <laughs> I deserve that. <laughs> <laughs> but it might have been a uh, high estimate. Uh, folks in the audience, please feel free to correct me in the comments. But so seriously, though, like they were talking about, he's like, hey, my, you know, my old man told me that your old man was a psychopath. You you can't, the apple can't fall from the tree. He was like, okay, this guy's lost it. And, and, and Mark was listening to his earpiece like this. He's like, yeah, you need to bring him in. That's what Cecil said. And Darkwing Jr. said this. Oh, you hear the voices too, don't you? Mark was like, what? No, I have not You know what? We're done. Just come on. We're bringing in, bro. Because <laughs> remember, he had an earpiece with Cecil, right? Quesno. Yeah. And he was like, oh, you hear the voices too. <laughs> no, those aren't the voices I hear, bro. And he actually gave Mark an actual entry level trouble. I thought that was interesting, you know, but yeah. he just lost it. What do you guys remember episode two?
Well, uh, I think episode two started off with that fight with Dr. Seismic, uh, and this was happening in the, right in the middle of uh, Mark's high school graduation, right? Yeah. He can't get a break. He can't even grow. Yeah, that part. Um, the other thing was the astronaut from Mars. Uh, he's <laughs> yeah. really Martian. The star face. Yeah, that was interesting. And your boy, uh, who you're about to interview later, Gary Anthony Williams. Mm -hmm. He was the voice of the space director that uh, I think suspended him, if I remember right. The, the yeah, astronaut. Yeah, suspended him. Quest, uh, uh, yeah. Ruckus. Boom, yeah, 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 Gary yeah. Anthony Williams. Thank you, making sure, making sure. Um, and then there was a subplot with uh, Adam Eve. She was trying to help some uh some Our parents uh, neighborhood oh no uh, that's right before that and yeah she was trying to do something that but i think that ends up backfiring on her later i remember how verbatim the building was condemned she she made a park for them she, she right, right. Fixed it quickly without doing it properly and everything went bad after she left it was and zoned for destruction. Was some i told you so stuff that doesn't yeah, help yeah. when your parents are right. That's the worst twist in a knife on the planet. When your parents mm. were right. And you think the dad, her dad is just being a hater. He's bugging. I, but it's not, it seemed like there was some validity in what he was saying. The writers of this, I'm glad, brought, I'm glad you brought that up, Arch. The writers of this was brilliant because they paint the picture like they want you to see these people being jerks. Rexplosion, for example. And at the end, like, Magneto was right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, bro, see, mine then, of course, it was that. that oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Mine was uh, when Rex walked in on his little side piece being. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, man, girl. Now, immortal. <laughs> Immortal's like she chose. Immortal said she chose me, player. Hey, yeah. the woman. But he had her. He had her walking out in multiples out the shower. I'm like, y'all just got done training in the danger room. And y'all just came out there. He was like, I'm finna go relax my it's, lady. Listen, X, it's X-Men 97. He's just like, I'm the captain of the team. What you thought yep. was gonna happen, player? It's X-Men like, 97 all over again. Hey, maybe bro. we're in the Magneto's in the training room. Click, bro. 12 o'clock, oh, click, bro. 12 o'clock. Like what Morph was saying, wow, they're, they're training a lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> and Morph said, hey, man, she chose me. It's no hey, on reference. Morph was so nonchalant about it, though. He was so nonchalant, like, hey, man, what you gonna really do, man? Like, hey, man, she, all of her came to me. <laughs> <laughs> he said all of her. You were perfect for this today, sir. Very good. Uh -huh. My thing is, Immortal is the fourth strongest, give or take. Arch, you're more accurate. He's like, give or take the fourth strongest fighter in the planet. And Rexplosion was willing to go up against, that's the thing with Rexplosion. He's you and me mm. with, with kinetic energy. That's it. He's basically yeah. killable, like Batman. And yet he talks so much mess to his opponents. Friend or foe alike, he doesn't care. He does not nah. care. Oh, let's not bring up when they was fighting with the water people. <laughs> yeah, the fish, the fish so he had to fight against that, that what, the kaijin of the, of the water people, man. That that was wild. That was a wild fight. I was like, you're gonna get yeah. maxed out with the water, bro? Like, yeah. come on, son. Like, you can barely breathe. You got superhuman breathing. And you taking in that much air getting whooped out, you should have drowned already. I was mad. I was That's mad true. at that one. I was like, Invisible should have died on that one. Because he should have drowned. Yeah. Because um, what stood out to me it was the tail end of this episode. We got um, Angstrom Levy. He was in a different universe where there was a variant. Uh, There's a female version of Cecil and Donald. Yes. And they had, <laughs> and they had an Evil Invincible tied up. I peeped that because I had to go back and skim through some of this. And uh, again, I think that version of Invincible was evil too, if I'm not mistaken. Of course. Oh, definitely. And, and Angstrom was like, yeah, y'all can have him. And, and Invincible was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought we were good. I thought you said you could help. And Angstrom Levy was like, deuces. And this is when we see, first time we see Angstrom after the incident and his head's all swole up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I gotta be, I gotta keep it on 100. Though. This was my least favorite episode out of the whole season. My least favorite. If I'm being yeah, honest. it was fun too. I can agree. It with wasn't that bad. One. It wasn't. I'm not saying it was bad, but it wasn't my. It was my least entertaining, in my opinion. No, no. It was. Um, how could I word this? It was filler for the. You know, for the most part. And also, episode three. It was interesting. Are we on episode three? We're going to episode three. We're about to go to three. Yeah. Okay. Course, this is where we got Alan. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So episode three was interesting because it started off with Mark and it had this weird 1950s cliche. Where they've split the episode into 15 minutes to talk about, yeah, Alan's episode, aka Seth Rogen. 
Right. And we have Alan more backstory is, about him. Alan is so cool, man. He's cool as hell, right? So, so yeah, he's like, I man, and, and this one was a great episode for him. Episode three was yeah, great. and it was just wild to see how his planet got raided by the Viltrumites, and the Viltrumites take no shorts, Not, none. Oh, they don't care what they just be tearing, breaking, and dismembering, put people like it ain't no thing. Dude, they <laughs> said because to him it's Tuesday for the people they killing man. It's yeah. like the most dramatic event ever. It's they Tuesday. just like it's Tuesday. It is. So it's, it's like the old school thing. It's like one of their bad days. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's like the when, they, when they when special. one of them split one of their arms back and ripped their arms off, I was like, "Whoa, oh man!" They man. try to practice how to dismember as much efficiently as possible. They're worse than Saiyans. They're worse bro, than Saiyans. They make Saiyans look like <laughs> house cats, bro. I'm not even going to lie, bro. Saiyans are house cats compared to these virtual mites, bro. Right, these man. guys are different, D dude. It's like, and then they're worse because. If they're, I did my research. If they're close to Viltrumite appearance, Mark, as possible, because their numbers are so low, they will breed with you in order to keep up the empire. I did not know that. As long as they can Here's throw a strong one out there, yeah, that part. Us, but y'all still slaves. Like, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> but the sad part is, it's not. It's, it's not wrong. But y'all got a good one. That's the only reason why y'all plan is still here because y'all got a good one. Y'all got to do it. Y'all got a good one. <laughs> But so, uh, um, yeah, this is where we get a lot learning more about Alan, but he gets uh, served by some Viltrumites. And ooh. it was just real sad how he was looking at his girl right before it went down. Like, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> just accept it. Just take it. Yeah, right. he was like, oh, yeah, I'll take this L right now. It was bad, man. They knocked out his eye. Hey, <laughs> man, but it, the plus side to that was the, the blood transfusion that he got from it, from the Viltrumite. The old dude that we didn't know was a Viltrumite that until is. he gave him the blood. AKA trans. Peter Cullen, AKA Optimus, Optimus Prime. Prime. I was, I was you literally know, doing the sheets so in my bed and I looked up that and, that like, and, and that and that's just like some Peter uh what is that? Cullen. Cullen. No, I'm just Peter saying uh, uh when it comes to the Hulk, that's like Bruce. Oh if Bruce you get that Hulk blood in you. Huh. Oh yeah. It was oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't gonna be the same. You ain't gonna be the same after that. And, and even you know, and even Alan, I'm glad you said that, Quest. Even Alan was shocked. Like, huh? I'm stronger now. But didn't you guys get worried when he unplugged that machine? Oh you know, yeah. Like, I didn't know. Like, I was thinking two things. This is like some kind of like means to an end, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or maybe the the writers of the show are taking some liberties with Thaddeus because in the comics it's different. That Thaddeus is down for the cause. But I was wondering for a minute, are they just deviating, doing some twist? That's From true. The comic, I didn't know, you know. But right. we find out later on, that it was it was a means to an end. Yeah, in your defense, <laughs> they do that a lot. MCU did that. Look what they did with Civil War, and don't get me started. That the uh, the you know the right. changing it. The also thing that we get in this one isn't this the one where we find out about the whole brother thing in the, in, the, in the third episode. Yeah, uh, no, that's episode. No, no, four. no, that's the next one. That's the next one. Oh, okay. We're, we're, we're hitting that right now, though. All right. So, yeah, we're getting to that. He gets approached by the dog. Uh, he gets approached yeah, by the. You know what? Dog. He's not wrong. At the tail end of episode three, now I know why he did that. He's yeah. like, dude, like, he's like, Mystic the Omni Dog, Mystic Dog, Sans yeah, Dog. It's Sans the dog, dog thing that yeah. turns into the bug after, like, hey, man, we yeah, need yeah. your help. Need you to come with me real quick. Like, and, that, yep. that was cool. Like, he was just like, man, I just got here. I'm having problems with my girl right now. Like he just got stuff. back from Mars, right? You know, like man, everything different right now. Everybody on Earth look at me crazy. You know what? I'll take that vacation real quick. Come on, man. Let's let's, let's go let's, ahead. And yeah, he need a break. And, and, and I, I need to get away from here real quick, my brother, because man, it's no. real out. <laughs> yeah, and he was asking him like, "Hey, question. Why did you come to my dorm at Sands, dog?" He's like, "Oh, I just wanted you to, you know, have an appearance that you're comfortable with." And it was really that simple. But when you pop up on your damn daddy, your daddy is sending the whole planet like, hey, Mark, hey, I needed you to. It's been a while. Dad. Like, what? Well, what? it's funny because episode oh, four was like, just beat me to death, bro. Why are you here? Like, I'd have been so mad, dude, because this is all in episode three. At the end of it, he's just looking at him like, bro, this is not real. This is not real, bro. You did not just max me out and then send mm -hmm. your little bug to come pick me up. And then you gonna dress him up as my favorite superhero. 
and then you're gonna fly them to my oh, planet that's right. and then now i'm at your planet and you just like hey son you're like nah, nah. that was the most hood as moment as old as nolan time. is he still got a lot yeah. to learn yeah bro that that was hurtful bro like when i seen him, i almost threw the whole desk i was like there's no way he there's said no way i knew about this that. i knew about this in the comics I didn't yeah. want to read the comments just because I didn't want no spoilers. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I've been watching That's, this like yeah, true. So, yeah, Arch got so me into this, around. believe it or not, through the comics he read originally. Yeah, Arch got me into this originally. And episode four was called literally, hey, it's been a long time. <laughs> I'm like, not Mark's long not enough. Try, Mark's not trying to hear it. Like, so yeah. you just pass, you leave, you call mom a pet, you beat me down <laughs> half an, within an inch of my life, and now we just gonna talk like it's all good? Sure, bro, let's, you why not? enslaved the whole planet of bugs, bro. And I'm up here thinking I'm gonna meet the king, and your punk ass pop out like, "Hey, what up, son? How you doing, son? Like, Been what? a while, right?" And then, like, nah, nah, bro. Y'all remember how uh, <laughs> remember how Mark was getting ready to look up on him again, and no was like, "Wait, wait, what?" <laughs> no, it was deja vu, and I'm like, "Oh, here we go. I don't care if you've recovered, Mark. You're not a Saiyan. You have base <laughs> strength until you get older." You like go hard, go to get. <laughs> hey, Mark, you know how this is going to go. Come on. And I was waiting because even back then, when in the initial beginning of their fight, Nolan was like, Mark, you're starting to wait. Mark, you're pissing me off. You're pissing me off. I told you not to mess with me, boy. You know, I'm waiting for that. But he held back there, too. So. But they oh. showed that. And then and not to keep reverting back to the comments, but no, they did that in the comments, too, where Mark looked like he was about to do something, but then he hugs him. Mm -hmm. Oh, see. <laughs> Well, he yeah. well he has daddy issues badly. Like he were, he missed he just missed him. Remember, a lot of time went by on Earth after this happened. So the Vilchamites come to that alien bug planet. Uh, it's kind of messed up that their species uh, age only like, lives nine months. Nine months, my dude. And and I don't know how Nolan was able to conceive anything with that. I mean, I don't care how lonely I am. It's I'm not, not doing the bug. Not, yeah, I, I don't. I don't. I'm sorry. I, I, you know, this is why I like the Star Trek universe. Players play. Players play. Players play, I guess. <laughs> Let me stay on topic. So, the Viltrumites come in. Uh, no one's telling them. This is like some Dragon Ball stuff, straight up. Mark, you have to fight to kill. They're, they, what if I kill them? Trust me, Mark. They're stronger than you. They can take a beating. And he was right. still holding back. He's thinking Earth rule opponents. These are Viltrumites. People that even know the hate. I was with Nolan on this. I was like, Mark, this ain't the time to be trying to be righteous. At you got all. to go all in. Now ain't the time. Like whatever reservations you had, you need to throw them out the window right now. Wait, hold on. We on four now, right? Yeah, yeah, we on four. We're, okay, I'm making cool. this quick. Hey, hold on. I didn't want to. I didn't want to like just like you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, man. Like that. That when when they started scrapping, bro, that was something different, bro. And then he got a process. I got to save my little brother, my new stepmama. And I gotta get whooped out by some people that are trained to whoop me out. The girl and with the that, ponytail, for example. Bro, bro. I forget her name, but she was ill. Bro. bro. Nah, dude. When and uh, also, what about the robo dude who finds out he's a robot? Oh, you Donald? Know? Yeah, when he finds out that he's like all robot, he's like, yo, bro, why do I keep dying, bro? Y'all got <laughs> <laughs> you said it. Why I keep dying? Bro. Bro, bro, keep that was the dying. end of episode four. But C uh, CJ, remember you called that out in the in the first episode. Like, wait a minute, did this dude die? And we didn't know. I sure did. The story was behind that. Yeah, because you know, they, dude, they he ended up dying that, later on. But you posted the question at first when they before they even revealed it. But that was a good peep on your end. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, because like, I appreciate your honesty. Yeah, because at the end of season, one, not the end, but his end. Yes, his end in season one. Dude, Nolan blew, he's like, I'm sorry about this. He knew he couldn't take Omni-Man. He kamikaze and blew up the entire house hoping it would do some damage to him. So he goes completely obliterated. And then even Debbie was like, I'm sorry, was was that Nolan? Oh, well, yeah, did I say that right? Nolan? Mm -hmm. No, uh, the guy in the I'm, glasses. I'm, Is that uh, yeah, yeah, d d so many names. Debbie oh yeah, like, that's right, she did. She, she, she really, wait a minute, I thought was he was dead. Yeah. Right, and, when she walked in the thing, yeah. yeah she and walked into the, the office. Yeah, and Cecil was like, "Okay, Debbie, you're a little delirious." No, I'm, I'm no you're not gonna dis you're not gonna not remember somebody who blew up in a damn house. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but uh, the other thing was, um, yeah, oh yeah, like we 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 Nolan introduced Oliver to Mark, right? His new brother, his half brother. Yeah, yeah. About that, 
And then that's when, um, after they're getting situated, then that's when the Viltrides coming in, Mark has to fight. What did y'all think about the fight between Mark and the Black Viltramite? He did I better. thought, yeah, I thought he did better. Yeah, he did, he did better. better than I thought he would. I'm, I mean, but he still too. got the same fate. It's like he got it on Earth, man. He's, my my ancestors then came down here and beat on me. Like, they He's beat on me, man. And he left me and was like, all right, now heal and we'll be back. And when we come back, you better make sure Earth's ready for us. Don't be like your daddy. You see what we did to your daddy. We came and got your daddy. Oh, yeah. You're talking about Craig. Craig. Yeah, he was like, now listen. What's his name? We done whooped you out right. like we whooped your daddy. Your daddy mm -hmm. on a regular planet that he ain't supposed to be on. We're gonna you execute here. him. Now we gonna kill him, but you, you better you make sure you ready by the time we come back. <laughs> hey guys, C Jack here. Just letting you know that episode one through four of Invincible was done right now. Check out episodes five through eight to conclude the review of this series next Wednesday. Share, comment, subscribe in the meantime, and check out my rest of my content and look at these other shows. Until then, peace.